Some social media influencers make a big deal about making sure to remind us that they're real people who struggle with life just like we do, but does this add to misconceptions? I talked to a researcher from Harvard University who studies this stuff. I wanted to ask her, how does social media affect young people? Well, there's a really interesting um, study, and they looked at um, how different people use social media and the way it makes them feel. People who are more vulnerable, who are str maybe struggling more with depression, may be having more intense experiences on both sides. So they might be having more um, intense positive social media experiences and more intense negative social media experiences. After hearing this, I was left wondering how we can use social media in a more balanced way. I asked Dr. Weinstein for some advice, especially for people who are depressed. I think we can start recognizing the kind of content that makes us feel really good um, and the kinds of interactions that make us feel really happy and connected to people we care about, and we could do more of that. If unattainable people with brand sponsorships and professional photographers remind us that they're real all the time, then how will all of us without all of the professional assistance feel? I think social media can um, perpetuate standards in some ways in ways that are very similar to traditional advertising. We get a lot of thin slices of um, insight into other people's lives. And those are still really intentionally selected moments, but it can be really hard to remember that. And the more volume of content we see, the easier it is for our brain to think that we can form a narrative and form a story that's really believable. So if I see 100 pictures of you being happy, um, it might be much easier for me to fall into the trap of thinking she must really be happy all the time. I think it's really important for us to realize that um, just for us to notice which accounts we're following are actually making us feel bad and then to mute or unfollow those accounts so that they're, we're not having this experience of just browsing all this content that makes us feel lousy. The lesson I learned, besides stop looking on social media for realness, if social media is affecting your emotions too much, you probably need to switch up who you follow. And don't believe the hype when it comes to people claiming that they're real. But what makes you feel good or bad on social media? Let us know in the comments below. This is Hannah with YR Media.